change like a baby. All right, here I go again. So this guitar makes me want to play that, Jay Ferrara. And he didn't write that song, I did. Mm. Was, that's a G and a C I came up with that. Mm. You came up with G and a C? A G, 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 C. Congratulations, Even so good. Even a D, I came up with that. You came G, up with G, D? That yeah. also sounds good. Thank you. It you did a good yeah. job coming Thank up with you. them chords. I've been working on that for yeah. a while. But um, <laughs> this guitar is one of the best sounding guitars that, I've, that I think I've ever played. It just oh, has. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so rich and full and it has, um, the brights have like a warmness about it. It's mm -hmm. like nothing yeah. stark or sharp or weird, but yeah. it's not dull, you know? Yeah. It is one of the better sounding acoustic guitars I think I've ever heard actually. <laughs> It's just so nice. This guitar belongs to a friend of ours named Ashley Peoples. Ashley is a wonderful guy. He's in all kinds of bands, including Gasp. Mm -hmm. G you can probably just Google Gasp. R Take your right there. I think it's G-A-R-T. I'm not, I'm not sure how to spell it. That's <laughs> But anywho, Ashley let us borrow this guitar. This is a 1975 Guild D55. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got the nice, you know, aged kind of quality about it. It's um, the sunburst is really beautiful. It's uh, a dreadnought body style. Um, it's got the, uh, I think that's Indian rosewood, I believe. Um, and then it's got these, you know, separators and binding. I mean, it's just, just the decorations on it are incredible. So, uh, sorry, because I'm completely ignorant about this. Yeah, kind please. Of thing. Indian rosewood. What, what the hell does that mean? Often you see um, nice acoustic guitars are going to have for their back for their sides and back are going to have either mahogany or um, Indian rosewood um, as their sides and back. And then on the front, if you have kind of a, a spruce, is going to be a brighter guitar. And I believe this is spruce. Uh -huh. um, and if it's an all mahogany guitar, back sides front, it's going to be a um, you wouldn't call it dull, but a warmer mm. sound. Um, it's it's a, a warmer kind of sound. So usually you're going to either have mahogany or the Indian rosewood as um, kind of your sides and back of a of a of a nice, well-made yeah. guitar. Um, now you know mahogany has um, a lot of negative implications around like socio-cultural things. Like you know it's a it's being pulled out of South America under the same kind of conditions that you know. I mean, when we, that movie came out, Blood Diamond, you know, about mm -hmm. like, how diamonds will come out of Africa. And, like, I hadn't actually seen the movie, but is it mm -hmm. a good movie? Have you seen the movie? I have. It's a good movie. Well, some of the mahogany that's coming out of the, uh, Central America and stuff is under the same kind of conditions. So there's laws around moving mahogany around. You don't see the same kind of stuff with the um, Indian rosewood. It seems to be a, a cleaner market channel to buy out of. But um, you do see sustainable programs in the mahogany world as well. Um, that people were working on, but but anyway, it's an upscale wood. In the '70s, it, it would was have been. An, oh yeah, people don't care. Whatever. Anything. Yeah, whatever. I don't care where you this wood throw comes your from. trash out the window when you're driving. Yeah. Your kids are laying up in the back. I used to lay up in the back of the car, like up by the window behind uh -huh. the back seat, like up there while we wow. drove. When I was like four. Jeez. Yeah. I used no to just. Seat belts or I would wear rollerblades, and I would have the like. There rope, were no rollerblades. And he would carry me off. <laughs> <laughs> You got to wear four skates on your skates, dude. I was yeah. wearing four skates. I mean, four wheels on your Yeah, I didn't. Your skates. <laughs> I, was half, I was hands and knees <laughs> with the four <laughs> skates behind the, behind the station wagon. A, a, a chain, toe chain went in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a pretty fancy act. <laughs> I mean, we were, you know, we had more kids than we I had. I think I just bumped this. I don't know if you folks at home heard that. Yeah.
No, I doubt it. Okay. I don't think anybody's watching. I don't think anyone's at home <laughs> watching. <laughs> so anyway, this is a Guild. Guild was um, uh, a company that was formed in the 50s. So at the same time that, um, you know, Leo Fender was putting out the Telecaster and the Stratocaster, um, Guild was, um, they were actually a company before that, but they started making guitars in the 50s. Uh, because they saw the you know the profitability and fruitfulness in guitars, and um, they they made some pretty amazing both acoustic and electric guitars, and they were real popular. In uh, they actually outsold Fender in the 50s, which is crazy. And in the 60s, they got adopted, kind of like Gretsch. They got adopted as this kind of like um, I don't know rockabilly or other like. A, I have always associated them with Gretsch. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of like Gretsch in that sense. They got the brand got lumped together with Gretsch in the '60s. Yeah. Um, they both start with G. Yeah, and like that Dwayne happens. Eddy played a Guild before he went to Gretsch, so it's okay. a lot of that rockabilly, um, yeah. rockabilly old stuff. And um, and then they went on to start making just the the best sounding acoustic guitars. And in the in the '70s, you have a lot of the bands that when they like do their acoustic song uh, it's going to be on a guild so like the eagles yeah. like you know the eagles playing a, all these electric guitars and then when it's time for the acoustic bring it on song, home yeah right they bring out the guild acoustic guitars and and it really had a reputation for just being a really excellent sounding um acoustic guitar and man this one yeah it's it. yeah it's just it's really still good. Last, so i don't yeah i don't know if uh if you folks at home uh with the children gathered around the television <laughs> uh can tell but it's like so loud. It is loud, yeah. It's like a cannon. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this thing is just like... God, it's so warm. Ah, yeah, it's really like, nice. I don't know about the power of YouTube to <laughs> translate that, but yeah. it's just a huge If you're not wearing warm. headphones, then yeah, you won't get it. But right, it's just a huge, warm sound. It is. And, the, and like I was saying before, the brights aren't um, shrill Yeah, they're not piercing and shrill. Way. Yeah. They're soft they're just, and yeah. warm. Yeah, it's just really it's nice. bright without being in that sort of just tinny kind of absolutely piercing bright. And uh, Ashley, whose guitar this is, uh, he said he this is his main acoustic guitar, and he plays out a lot at restaurants and uh, different environments where he's just it's just him and a guitar and singing. Yeah. And this it, thing will really get in your face if you're like trying to I'm eat serious. pizza. Yeah, right. But seriously, like as a as a by yourself instrument, this thing fills up the tonal spectrum. For yeah, sure. yeah. So it's a good choice. Yeah, if you're a big loud singer. Yeah, if you're telling jokes. Yeah, real um, loud jokes. <laughs> real yeah. loud jokes. Go walks into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that might be a bit loud. <laughs> I got that. And uh, look at the yeah, edge. Silent Mike is like, stop. That's not gonna work. Yeah, we're cutting all of this. This episode <laughs> won't even air. <laughs> so this one has electronics that were put into. Oh yeah, there's uh, a nine volt battery just floating around. In I there. know it really is swimming yeah. in an ocean of open. And I wish Ashley stuff. was here to tell us about the electronics, but I'm glad uh, he's not, man. But he's not. Yeah, I'm I, glad don't he's him, not. I don't want him getting in my face about this thing, he, I, being all loud. I'm just kidding. Ashley is a really awesome dude. He's terrible. Don't. <laughs> like it. So it just sounds amazing and it looks amazing. And again, it's from '75. It's just really the era of like um, Jaws. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> How did you know that? That's weird. We hang out too much. Um, it's uh, the era of like excellent sound. You know, like if you think about it, man. Like you know, the, the '60s was about you know breaking through in a lot of ways, and it wasn't necessarily about excellent sound. It was yeah, about yeah, yeah. breaking through and rock and roll and stuff. Yeah, sticking it, was, it to the man. It was about sticking it to the man. Yeah. But the the 70s, it was like, let's take it into the studio. We got like better technology. Let's and rock stuff. the man. Let's rock the man. A little bit, you know. Let's invite the man in. Let's let, let's let the man enjoy himself <laughs> a little bit. A little bit while, he's, because while we're, we're sticking it to him. While we're sticking it to him, <laughs> but we can entertain him with but this loud can, guitar. Exactly. And we can, yeah. you know. But like, you know, you imagine the, the how nice the studios would have been that eventually the, let's say the Eagles were recording in. You know, just top of the line. Not like the old uh, Sam Phillips places where Elvis was walking in off the street. Um, yeah. You know. I mean, you know, it's like, we're talking like just very, very nice. The top of the line microphones, German microphones that would have cost, you know, $20,000 each and all this stuff. And the guitars at that point were just made to perform sonically yeah. at, at just levels that were just, they had to sound really, really nice. It was all about that, you know? Yeah. Whereas the, you know, we did an episode on um, the uh, Gretsch Rancher, which sounds great, but it's really about it being 
cool it yeah it's just a really cool, cool designing guitar it's just look it's just awesome this is about just optimal sonic quality you know it really is yeah it's a beautiful beautiful it's guitar so thank you ashley for letting us borrow it thank you very much yeah and um we will uh y'all check out gasp which is ashley's band they're phenomenal and uh i guess that's it man anything else chris I, nope i actually i really thank you very much for having this guitar i was kidding it would be awesome if you were here but we understand you're preoccupied and he's not kidding. making a living yeah michael don't don't let this be in the video but chris is not kidding he hates ashley he hates Awesome. Was, I would smash this. I would smash Lee. Sm I would smash. <laughs> I would smash Lee Peoples. <laughs> this guitar. That one people. That's what they'd be calling him then. Yeah. Actually, God, I hope that people call him that. Smash yeah. Lee Peoples. They might, if he has a MySpace, that's probably oh, what that's his name idea. is on there. Yeah. Anyway, if, if he hadn't patented that yet, <laughs> he can do that now. All right. I guess we'll see you uh, next in 20 minutes on the local pick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. We don't have anything else. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs>